Hello and welcome to our daily devotion from Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Pastor Adam Moline. Today we're going to take a look at the Gospel lesson appointed for the 15th Sunday after Trinity. It comes to us from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 6. Jesus said, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God, who so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive, and tomorrow is thrown in the oven. Will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Dear friends in Christ, today's gospel lesson is essentially what the small catechism teaches in the first article of the Creed. I believe that God has made me and all creatures. He has given me clothing and shoes, food and drink, house and home, wife and children, land, animals, and all that I have. He richly and daily provides me with all that I need to support this body and life. He guards and protects me. He defends me against evil. He does all of this out of his fatherly divine goodness and mercy. That's what we confess as Christians, as Lutherans. Every time we say the Apostles' Creed, and yes, even the Nicene Creed. This is what we confess when we are confirmed, when we are asked, do you believe in God the Father Almighty? Yes! He takes care of me. He provides for me. We memorize those words, we confess them, but we don't often live by them, do we? Our sinful nature struggles to believe that God really provides for us. Our sinful nature struggles to believe that He takes care of us. Our sinful nature struggles. And so it is that we constantly do worry, don't we? We seek to put more money in our IRAs. We seek to store up more food in case of challenge or struggle or difficulty. We worry about if we wear clothes that reflect our proper station in society. What will people think if we come in wearing something ratty or old-fashioned? We have to always have the newest car, the biggest house, the coolest toys. Dear Christian, repent. God will and God does take care of you. You are more valuable than the lilies of the field, than the birds of the heaven than anything else in creation. How valuable are you? Well, what does the 
second article of the Creed and its meaning say, You believe in Jesus Christ, begotten of his Father from all eternity, and born of the Virgin Mary, true God and true man, and here's the important part, who has redeemed you, purchased and won you from all sin and death and the power of the devil, not with gold or silver, but with his holy precious blood, innocent suffering and death, that you may be his own and live under him in his kingdom and serve him in everlasting righteousness, innocence, and blessedness, just as he is risen from the dead and lives and reigns to all eternity. This is most certainly true. You're so valuable to God that he gave Jesus for you to forgive you your sin, to rescue you from all the wickedness of this world, to set you free from anxiousness and worry and concern, to give you everything you need in this life and everything for the life that is to come. In the name of Jesus, amen.